Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this awesome 2021 Ford Bronco Black Diamond with a Sasquatch package. This is a two-door model. One of the best out-of-the-box off-road vehicles you can buy. In fact, for a long time, the Jeep Wrangler really did not have much competition. Uh, this is uh, with a Sasquatch package. This is probably the most equivalent to a Jeep Wrangler uh, Rubicon. Um, and this and the Wrangler are pretty much the two uh, best out-of-the-box off-road vehicles that you can buy. Uh, at least for the common men uh, that are relatively affordable. Uh, there's few other vehicles they can drive off the showroom floor then take uh, to some technical off-roading trails like the Rubicon and this uh, Sasquatch Bronco. Amazing vehicle indeed. 2021 the Bronco is a brand new, I would say say brand new, but a brand new reintroduced model for Ford. Uh, the Bronco has long been out of the product line. Of course we had the, uh, the OJ Bronco which I grew up knowing. My dad worked at Ford which was cool but basically that was just a uh, uh, Ford F-150 with a lopped off bed and a little, uh, you know, little uh, hard top, removable hard top on it. This is a little bit different. This thing um, is based off the smaller Ranger platform. It is body and frame. Uh, the Bronco Sport, which is similar in name, is very different. The Bronco Sport is based on unibody architecture. It's basically like a Ford Escape with, uh, you know, Bronco bodywork on it. This thing's different. This thing is built on rugged body and frame truck based architecture. Uh, and you have some serious uh, off-road hardware on it, especially the way this one's equipped. This is a one owner clean Carfax vehicle, a relatively local vehicle from the Oregon area, only 10,827 miles. We do have a complimentary Carfax report. We have the original build sheet on this one. Uh, so of course uh, the black diamond, black diamond version of the Bronco comes equipped with a lot of student equipment, but then we have some optional equipment. This really co cool color, uh, cyber orange uh, metallic was a $595 premium color. The upgraded 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 engine was an $1,895 option. A lot of people like that 2.7 liter EcoBoost upgrade. I think it's 315 horsepower, uh, I think 360 pound feet of torque, and, uh, and if you do use premium fuel, I think you get another extra 15 horsepower, so Ford gives you the choice. Use regular for less horsepower, or put some premium in there for a little bit more power. I think it's just probably fine on regular. Um, and supposedly the 2.7 EcoBoost V6 is a pretty big upgrade versus the uh, standard uh, entry level uh, four cylinder, which isn't a horrible engine, but the V6 I think is a little bit better suited uh, towards this Bronco. And then the, the 10 speed automatic transmission was another $1,595 option package, a main transmission to standard. Then the Sasquatch package, that's your off road package, that was a 44. Uh, $4,495 option package, giving lots of cool off-road hardware, a 17-inch black aluminum beadlock alloy ring uh, on the wheels, 4.7 rear locking differential, front axle locking differential, uh, the hard top uh, molded in color, uh, front row two top panel storage, looks like there's no charge, and this one has a tow package, $595. Of course, you can print out a copy of this build sheet or email it if you want to peruse it yourself. Um, the interior is right down the business. This interior is designed to uh, meet mud, dirt, water, and you know, obviously this thing's not designed to be dunked and submerged into a, a lake or a river, but you know, if it rains out, the interior gets wet, it's designed to handle it without breaking the vehicle and having electrical shorts. You can even see that Ford really even goes uh, to the trouble of actually on both sides, you have uh, these uh, drain plugs. Um, that one. Uh, it looks like it's covered by like a heat plate or something, but on the other one, the passenger side, you can see <laughs> right down to the ground. So if this thing fills up with water, you get some mud in there and stuff like that, it's pretty easy to drain. Uh, so then we have the GOAT modes. Go, uh, go over any terrain, that's what it stands for. So you have a great uh, drive mode selector, four wheel low range, uh, tool high. Uh, Four-wheel auto, that's probably for variable conditions where, um, you know, uh, probably keep it rear-wheel drive and some power to the front wheels as needed. Then you can lock it in four-wheel drive high. Then you have this great uh, uh, LCD infotainment system. You have an analog gate to the left and you have this LCD screen and you can pick and choose different information to show up depending on what type of driving. We have tire pressure, uh, the boost from the engine. They also have some off-road modes, pitch and roll. Uh, off-road, uh, so it's showing your departure and arrival angles, uh, how many degrees you're, uh, you know, leaning to the left or right, average fuel economy, comm screen, I don't know what that is, maybe it's just <laughs> it's supposed to limit the amount of info for you so you don't get sensory overload. 
Then uh, with this uh, great off-road four-wheel drive system, you have the locking differentials. And then you have this really cool feature. You can actually lock the wheels on one side. Uh, now this is obviously supposed to be used on loose, uh, tr you know, loose gravel or sand, not on the road, where it can lock the wheels, break the wheels on one side, so this thing can spin around pretty fast for really tight turning on trails. People who go on trails, they tend to prefer, uh, prefer short wheelbase vehicles because if you're on a tight trail, you can't go any further. It's a little bit easier to turn this thing around in a very narrow trail versus a longer wheelbase vehicle. Uh, the hard top is pretty easy removable. Uh, it comes off in two pieces and then uh, you have that uh, rear piece that can come off so this one is pretty easy to take off if you want a little fresh air obviously if you want to take the whole top off it's a little bit more of a process but not you know too difficult and then there's some nice uh, factory or aftermarket soft tops you can get for this thing uh, so what i would do is i'd keep the hard top on for the winter time and then in the summertime i'd probably put the soft top on uh, backup camera a great infotainment system this one also has a, uh, looks like it has a performance exhaust added onto it. Sounds pretty nice, or either that, it might have just removed the, uh, the resonator. Then we have uh, some accessory switches. It looks like they added on uh, some aftermarket uh, headlights, but like uh, you can use this for wind, uh, look, if you want to install a winch, you can use this to add power to it, uh, additional lights, um, an air compressor. All these uh, accessory switches can be used to power accessories like that. Nice interior, nice comfortable seats. These are very durable and you can see with the material, it's gonna repel sand, dirt, and mud very nicely, pretty easy to clean up. Even have uh, some drain plugs back here for the rear seats as well. It's uh, really quite amazing that they were able to put tires this big on a factory vehicle. Uh, I think, as far as I know, these are the largest uh, factory wheel and tire package that you can buy in a production vehicle in the, in the United States, at least. Um, Goodyear's is obviously a great brand of tire, plenty of tread on them. And look at the amount of ground clearance that you have, too. Pretty amazing <laughs> that you can have this ground amount of ground clearance on a stock vehicle. Obviously, the departure and arrival angles for going off-road are very short. And that's what makes this thing pretty amazing off-road. We have some aftermarket lights. I'm sure those are already wired into the accessory switches. And one uh, difference between the Bronco and the uh, Wrangler is the Wrangler has a solid uh, front axle. Obviously, some off-road uh, purists pref uh, prefer a solid rear axle, but uh, Ford decided to go with an independent front suspension. Um, that will make it a little bit more nicer to drive on the road. And of course, uh, Based on uh, people's uh, test results, I mean, <laughs> you can see a lot of uh, automotive publications have uh, put the Bronco through its paces. It doesn't seem like having that independent front suspension has really uh, hurt the off-road prowess. It seems like it's pretty uh, much just as capable as the Wrangler Rubicon, if not more. Of course, uh, we have a nice interior. Uh, it's all easy to clean. <laughs> not too much carpeting in there, a little bit extra storage in there. There's the jacks and stuff. Uh, some nice tie downs. The seats look like they fold down fairly flat. We have some great promotions going on right now. Complimentary delivery to Washington and Oregon. And we actually recently added Idaho. Um, so pretty cool stuff. We can print up all the paperwork. We can, put, we can put this on our car hauler. We can tow it to you. So you can buy this beautiful Bronco potentially without leaving your neighborhood or even your driveway. Contact us for more information about that. There's that awesome uh, 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6. You can find this in a lot of Ford products. In fact, I think they put this in the F-Series. It's a pretty common engine. Very reliable, very fuel efficient. Uh, giving you V8 power with more V6-like fuel economy. Love the looks and lines of the Bronco. It's pretty much an inspiration of the original Bronco, which put the, this product in the map. Obviously, it's changed and looked a little bit different over the years. <laughs> different variations of the Bronco. Uh, but I think this one is the, out of all the Broncos, is probably the truest to the original one that started the Bronco name in the first place. Uh, one awesome vehicle, fun to drive, fun to look at it. And us in the Pacific Northwest, we have so many beautiful places to explore, so many great off-road parks and forest service rail and tra uh, roads and trails to, to visit. Uh, right in the back door to Mount Rainier National Park, 
so many cool places that this lovely Bronco can take you to uh, that not a, lot of, not a lot of other vehicles can go. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.